Before selling your 1968 Kennedy dollar, you should view this video since it will provide you with a more thorough explanation of the 1968 Kennedy half dollar. The fact that this coin was made in both the San Francisco and Denver mints might not seem remarkable to you. For a little historical background, let's dive right into this S first film, although there are a few things to be aware of. The Kennedy half dollar was first minted in the U.S. in 1968 with the AD mint mark. Prior to that, these half dollars were unmarked between 1965 and 1967. This year's mint mark issues were changed by this event, including the estimation mark that was unintentionally turned upside down. Although they are becoming rare, the ones that still exist are highly valued. Furthermore, it's important to keep a lookout for tiny RE punches that come with some D-Mint brands. In certain triple verses, the words we and we trust are the primary triplets in the scripture. Now, let's take a closer look at the coin. At the bottom of the front appears the year 1968. The name Liberty Kennedy appears below the mint mark with the words in God and we trust to the left and right respectively. Things to do on dates that are interesting. It is important to draw attention to the thick eight because it now sticks out from the other digits. The words half dollar are on the back of the coin and the image of the United States of America, which is centered around the top and has an eagle with arrows in its talents and an olive branch has not changed over time. Lesson. The amazing $15,000 value of a Mint State 68 coin is somewhat offset by the coin's noticeable value reduction in lower grades, which is essentially how it is graded. Recall that a 70 is now the highest grade. The Denver Mint produced 247 million Kennedy half dollars in total in 1968. The Philadelphia Mint never produced any coins. Additionally, keep in mind that 3 million proof half dollar coins bearing the Southern Mint emblem were created by the San Francisco Mint. Now, although the currency you're viewing on the computer may appear attractive, you may actually purchase it for a few bucks online. It's a duplicate. As you can see, you need exercise caution because counterfeit coins do exist. You don't want to fall victim to fraud or exploitation. This coin has an absurd tone. Nature undergoes this oxidation process, which collectors refer to as tone. Depending on where you store your coins, this may or may not be a good thing. This coin was purchased for $4,920. PCGs graded this coin, giving it the highest possible grade of 70. This is remarkable since it is very hard to receive a rating this high, as the San Francisco Mint's anticipated rating under distinguished guests shows. This coin was purchased for $21,600. I've noticed that some people want to sell their coins. Keep in mind that certain characteristics are required in order to sell and increase the value of your coin. You can find websites that validate coins and provide an estimate of their value based on these characteristics. One fairly trustworthy source is PCGS. Keep in mind that not all coins have the same value. Without further ado, I would like to thank you for viewing my videos for the time being. Please remember to subscribe and turn on the bell, and I'll see you in the next one.